modernization process started at Fittinker Limited in order to achieve high-tech manufacturing. We selected a part that we have already been producing and we wanted to do the entire manufacturing process automatically. So we can just put the material in the manufacturing cell and we can get the finished product after the process. When selecting the units, we had to make the best decisions based on the price to performance ratio and we decided to purchase two Mazak turning machines, each with a standard robot option. We have been successfully cooperating with Mazak for a long time. We have a great relationship and our engineers are working together at every level. This project was managed the same way. We were able to contact the appropriate specialist for the mechanical, electronical and programming parts and our programmers and mechanical engineers were able to ask their questions or if we had to develop new units for the cells we could do that as well. This is how we got to the development centre where we could send our special demands in English with a sketch of the part and a wiring diagram then Mazak would produce it with the Hungarian service completing the installation. The size of the work envelope and the number of tools were the primary considerations when we were purchasing the turning machines. Then we had to implement the automated production on these machines. That was the point where I joined the project. My job was to coordinate the manufacturers and develop our own software interfaces and PLC connections that help to operate the system. The workpieces are stored on a special pallet. The robot loads the pieces into the R11 Mazak turning machine. That machines the workpiece on one side. The robot then takes the part and loads it into the R12 machine, where the shank of the part is produced. Following this process, a 3D measurement procedure takes place. The equator performs the measurement and evaluates the results. Then it passes the part to the roughness measuring device. If it meets the requirements, the robot puts it on the pallet storing the finished parts or in the waste container if it failed. The turning machines receive the information about the exact size of the produced parts and recently they have been enabled to automatically change tools in case of tool wear using a replacement tool system. They can also make corrections in the tool path based on the size of the parts, so the system is capable of correcting the manufacturing process by itself. <laughs>